Hey guys, I thought I was recording this whole time, but I wasn't, <laughs> but whatever. So I'm making my curry right now. Um, so I have some oil that I put in the pan and some onion and garlic. I'm trying to get a good view for you. And my other, when I thought I was recording, I was explaining to you that I am not really great with this camera. Um, because it's my computer actually. <laughs> but this is just onion, garlic, and oil, vegetable, canola oil. And I do have my chicken here. Let me show you my chicken. I added a little curry to it. I seasoned it with um, adobo. Here it is, adobo. Garlic powder, onion powder, and of course, badia um, curry. And I was explaining before, I, <laughs> when I thought I was recording, that I also use Japanese curry. And that one is really good. I love Japanese curry. But my boyfriend is Jamaican, and he loves curry from this one, the powder one, Jamaican style. Um, sometimes I think I'm putting too much curry. I asked my daughter one time before, I said, am I adding too much curry to the chicken? And she goes, Mom, how are you going to ask a Jamaican if there's too much curry in the chicken? Like, No, it's he's good. So I don't know. But I just don't want it to be an overwhelming flavor of curry. So I do it this way. I put a little oil in the pan. I put curry on the bottom, and then I add the onions and the pep, um, garlic. So I get the oil to heat up about five minutes, and then I start to fry the chicken. So I'm just gonna grab a fork, start to fry the chicken. Okay. So I'm gonna take a piece of chicken, put it in the oil. So. Here's the chicken, and this is the oil, and it's kind of difficult for me to do both with the camera, so I will show you as soon as I get the chicken into the pot. So I just take it with a fork and place it into the pot. Just up it with the fork. Pick it up with the fork. I kind of fry them, I guess, if you want to call it frying it, because it's not really fried chicken. Kind of browning it, that's what we call it, browning. Browning it a little bit, get some of the curry flavor into the meat. These are chicken thighs. Um, I kind of took the meat off the bone. I do still have some bone because I think the bone give it a good flavor. Like this is the piece that has the bone still on it. I think it gives it a good flavor. So I'm just going to fry it up a little bit. So I do this until they're all fried up. And then once they're fried, not fried, but brown. I keep saying fried. It's not fried chicken, guys. It's curry chicken. So... I do this until they're brownish. So then I do this on two, both sides. Not even a long time, like maybe three minutes each side. Then I take it out and then I um, put it in a bowl. Cause then I, there's a lot of chicken here. So I have to go through that and put the other chicken. So I gotta get me another bowl. So hold on one second. So I've got another bowl to put my uh, cooked chicken in. Well, not cooked, but brown chicken in. Because this is so not cooked. It's not done at all. Um, so I'm just going to turn it over again. I think I added a little too much oil, but this is a lot of chicken. So I think the oil will kind of um, evaporate. So I just do three minutes on each side. I got to make some iced tea because I'm so thirsty right now. I got to make me some tea. I'm just going to turn the flame up just a little bit more because it's not really frying up too much. It's like soaking in the oil. So I got my pitcher. Let's go make me some iced tea. And I don't have the measuring cup for my iced tea, so I'm going to just eye it. Sometimes I get it right, other times I don't. So I'm going to just eye it. Okay. So, I'm sure you guys all know how to make iced tea, so you don't need a tutorial on that. 
So I'm going to just make some iced tea real quick. I really have to get my SD card from my other camera because this is crazy. And I really want you guys to see what I'm doing. I'm doing the best I can, guys, so bear with me. This is my first time doing a um, cooking segment, cooking with Didi. So you don't want to cook the meat so that it's done. You just want to cook it to brown it, like I said. So I usually cook and clean at the same time, but most of the dishes are already cleaned. I just got a few things that I need to wash over there. It's not so bad. So this meat is cooking up, it's browning. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what the brown meat should look like. I know it's meat, it looks disgusting when it's not cooked, but it's not cooked at all, it's just getting brown. So um I'm just gonna take this. I just don't want to touch it with my hands because it's curry, it stains. And I don't want to smell like curry all day tomorrow, but I do don't mind. <laughs> I do smell like curry when I'm eating it, though. I don't care. It tastes good. <laughs> but sometimes it does sting my fingernails. Sting my fingernails. Right up. I'm going to add more chicken to the top. So I put diced onions and garlic on the bottom. And I've got ringed onions that I'm going to put inside when it's um, cooking up. So I'm going to make some rice, and I'll probably make dumplings, the fried dumplings. My family usually likes the fried dumplings. Depends on what mood they're in. I think they're hungry, so they're probably going to eat whatever I cook today. <laughs> so, yeah, will be all right. Mm. This, oh, that's a lot of chicken that came out of that. I didn't realize it was that much chicken. With just one pack of thighs. I took off the skin. I don't like the skin on um curry. When I cook, but I don't like chicken thigh skin either. I don't know if you guys ever eat chicken thigh skin. For some reason, it's like really thick and slimy. And like, I don't like it at all. I really don't like it. Even if it's fried, if it's baked, whatever. I don't like the skin on the, um, on the thigh. I can't stand it. But with curry, you can use chicken breast, you can use thigh, you can use legs, whatever. It's chicken, you know, just curry chicken. But I do like the thighs better, I must admit, when I have curry. There was one piece that I forgot to take the bone out, but it'll be fine. So it's not too bad. Hopefully I don't set my smoke alarm on, but it's not too bad. I'm just joking. I think it'll be okay. But I did turn it up a little bit more because I wanted to cook a little faster, to fry a little faster, turn brown. So I hope you guys are having a good day. Like I did talk to some people earlier today, just talking and running my mouth. Right now I really want to cook and show you guys how I can cook. Well, let me see if you guys can see how my thing is cooking up. Let me see if I can get this camera together. Let me see. Hold on one second. Yeah, just a little bit. You got it. <laughs> this is awful. I need to get my stuff together, right? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can um, show you guys what the chicken looks like. Back camera, back. Yeah. There we go. I almost got it. I'm going to figure this out for real. But this is the chicken frying up. It's frying. Oh, that's better. Duh. I need to use my common sense a little bit. That's all. <laughs> but it's frying up. So it'll be done. It takes about, I would say about an hour to cook because I put it on medium and just let it boil up to get a nice little gravy out of it to put on top of the rice. But it's really good. It's one of my favorite meals. So, turn it over. Turn the chicken over. Brown it on the one side. I want to brown it on the next side. Cook it another about another three minutes on that side. And then what I'm gonna do after that is add my onions to it, and then just put enough water to cover it, to cover the meat. Then I put a top on it and let it simmer for about an hour. So 
I'll never get my ice tea out of here. Oh. So, yeah. Let's take out this. I just washed the top. my top clean so that I can use that. Um I have to take out this next set of chicken and put this together. Be patient with me guys. I'm really learning how to use this camera and cook at the same time. It's ridiculous. But I really need to get my little one. I'm gonna get my camera. I have it already I, like I said I just need the um the S D card. So and I work, but I can just buy the SD card at any time. I just have to remember what size it needs. I got to go and um, check out the camera tonight and see. Because my next video is going to be good. <laughs> I'm not going to have it like this the next time. I want you guys to come back and enjoy my videos. And not be like, oh my god, look at this ghetto chick. What she doing? <laughs> but I really want to learn how to do it right. So bear with me, okay? You'll be all right. I'll be all right. We'll be okay, okay? <laughs> we got this. So after we cook up this chicken... These are just the bones, so they really don't, you know, just the bones, like I told you, I just want to put some flavor in it. Let me show you what my bones look like. This is the bone, little chicken on the bone. So, it's really not that much chicken on it, so it's not going to take that long to um, fry up and brown. Brown it on the next side. This is literally going to take three minutes on this side. So that's okay. And there you have it. Let me see. It's frying up real good and it smells so good in here. Like, I kid you not. I wish you guys could smell it. There we go. Here, let me see. So I'm going to add the rest of the chicken that I put in my bowl into the frying pan. So I'm just going to dump it. Sometimes I add potatoes. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. You guys already know how to cut up potatoes, so I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me cut up potatoes. But I'm going to add potatoes to it because I know they like it. And I don't need to do it until the, like the last 15 minutes of cooking because we don't want mushy potatoes. I'm going to add the potatoes into it. Um, so just move it around so that they all fit perfectly. And what I'm going to do is add a little water to this um, bowl that I had the chicken in. I'm just going to add a little water to it. Just to get the flavor. My damn sink has no water pressure. Again, the last time they had to replace this whole thing, I don't know what it's called, but they had to replace the whole thing. So you might have to do that again. Let me see if I can get enough right here just to add. This is going to make its own water, too, so you don't want to add that much water, but you want to kind of cover it. You don't want to lose all the flavor either, so don't add too much water. So this was all the water that I added. I hope you guys... Give me one second, guys. I'm really going to show you good. I'm not even. Let me see. Hold on one second. <laughs> I'm going to get it around here. Let me see. Let's 
see just enough water just to cover um, the pan, I mean the chicken. So we get it to come to a boil again. We're gonna have it come to a boil. I'm adding onions. I have onion rings. These are like rings of onions. So I just pull them apart and put them inside of the pot. So I just add them, add the onions, it's okay. And then when I'm done adding the onions, I'm just going to give it a little stir just to get the onions to uh, mix up. Give it a good flavor. Now I'm going to cook the hell of it at like on seven. So I'm going to leave the, oven, the stove on seven. Just cook the hell out of it because I want it to be cooked good. And it's already 6 o'clock. Usually by 6.37 we're eating dinner already, but I started late. So let me see. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, let me see. I'm going to get the pot holder and I'm going to show you guys. There you go. This is so ridiculous, I know. Oh, there I go. Okay, there's my onions. So I'm going to give it a quick stir. And we're just going to bring this to a boil and then put the top on it. And there you have it. So I'm going to definitely do this recipe again because I want you guys to get it a good view of it. And so you can get it right and your family will love it. Trust me. I'm telling you. I'm going to show you how I do it from start to finish because I kind of screwed up with my camera. <laughs> but I'm going to show you guys how to do it again. But I hope you enjoyed my video. I got to <laughs> finish trying to cook this up. I got to still make rice and things. I have a rice cooker. I hope you guys have a rice cooker because I don't know what's going on. I used to make rice perfectly, but I can't do it right no more. So now I use the rice cooker. It takes about 15 minutes, not even, sometimes 12. So I'm going to use that. Um, but I'm going to finish cooking up. Like I said, bring this to a boil. Put your top on it and let it cook about an hour. I just let it cook an hour. But I'm turning it up to seven because I'm hungry. The kids are hungry. And my boyfriend's going to be hungry when he gets home from work. He's usually home by 6.30, but he takes a shower. He don't eat until about 7.30, so he'll be okay. But the kids are starving right now. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. And I promise the next time it will be way better. I promise you. So I will see you guys soon. Talk to you all soon. Take care. Have a good night. Bye.